Hello, it's Steve, the Nortel guy. Uh, in this video segment, I'm going to show you how to uh, get the TN number um, for a telephone set on your um, Nortel PBX. Um, in particular, this screen that you're seeing right now is from a Nortel CS1000 um, PBX, but the commands would be the same for uh, just about the whole uh, PBX family as far as I'm aware. All right, first I'm going to log in. And by the way, if you don't know how to log in, um, I talk about that in another video I have called uh, Changing the Time on your Nortel PBX uh, CS1000. In there, I kind of give some more in-depth instructions about how to log in if you're not familiar with how to do that. Anyway, I'm logged in, and what I want to do is go to uh, Load 20. And I'm going to uh, use the command PRT, which is short for print. And uh, the type that I want is DNB. That's um, David November Bravo. Customer is usually zero, almost always zero. Unless you have multi-tenant service, um, your customer number is always going to be zero. Okay, DN. Now here's where we get started. So I have a phone set on a desk that I need to get the, the TN, the Tom November number for. Um, and this the extension of that phone, the prime extension of that phone is say uh, 48911. So I type that in there. Now I'm going to get a few more prompts. All I got to do is just keep hitting the enter key. I don't have to type anything in there. And eventually it will yield this information for me. Now what I've got right here is a TN number, three different times it looks like, and the reason that is is because 48911, this number up here, is a station number that appears on, looks like three different telephone sets, and that's okay. But the one we're concerned about is the one where it says key 00, zero because that means it's the prime station for the other uh, prime extension for that uh, telephone set. Okay, so we used an existing DN or an extension number or station number or more formally called a directory number. We use that in conjunction with the PRT and DNB um, commands to get our TN number. Now why would I want a TN number? Well, because a TN number contains most of the um, detailed program information that we might want to change here and I'll show you why. So I got this TN number 232 So I'm going to do the PRT command again and now this time the type is TNB so it, last time I typed DNB dog November Bravo now I'm doing um, TNB Tom November Bravo and it wants the TN number and the TN number is typed in just the way you see it here but it stops before it gets to the V there so for instance it's 232-0003 and I'm just going to hit the enter key to get through these other questions I don't need to answer these questions okay now what just flashed by very fast there was a whole stream of information. So here's where I type the command in and I'm, I'm scrolling here um, and here was what it yielded. It yielded all this information here. I'm not going to go into the detail of each one what each of these little lines and acronyms mean but my point here is to show you that how I'm able to take an existing DN number or station number or directory number and convert that into its respective TN numbers and how to deduce which one is the prime uh, DN which would be the one associated with that phone set. Do it one more time. PRT, DNB. I want to look up um, DN number 48917. Uh, I'm doing a different phone this time. Okay, it appears on only one set, and that set's TN is 
232-0008. So now I want to see the program information for um, that TN, Tom November. Oh, I had a typo. I'm supposed to put in the type, which is TNB, then the TN. And there's all my program information. And we'll do another video segment sometime to talk about what all this means. But essentially, they're things like line assignments, um, ringing assignments, permissions. Um, this stuff right here is a lot of these are what they call class of service, which is your permissions to be able to do and not do certain things with a phone set. Um, yeah, so we'll go into that some other time. So. Just to recap, um, the purpose of this video was to take a phone with a extension number on it, such as 48911, and be able to find out what its TN number, and then look up that TN to um, see the program information, and um, that'll be useful for something else that um, we'll be doing in the future. Okay, thanks for watching.